Assalamu alaikum dear students you know in previous uh, lecture we discussed the cartesian product of two sets today we will continue the same topic that is cartesian product of two sets you know what is cartesian product of two sets that is simply you know the set of all ordered pairs from set a to set b that is simply the cartesian product of two sets now let me consider an example if we consider a to be a 1 2 and b to be a b set b equals to a b then clearly a cross b equals to set of all ordered pairs whose first component that is all ordered pairs whose first component is from a and second from b which is simply 1a 1b 2a and 2b similarly if we consider b cross a b cross a is the set of all ordered pairs whose first entries uh, or from uh, set B and second from set A that is B1, B2, A1, A2 or A1, A2, B1, B2 clearly this A cross B e not equal to B cross A in general but if we consider A to be phi or B to be phi which implies that one set or the both sets are empty sets or null sets then clearly A cross B equals to phi because when A is phi or B is phi this means that we have to consider we have to consider those ordered pairs whose first entries is from A. This means that uh, we have to consider, you know, the elements from null set. In null set, we have no element which implies that A cross B or B cross A is always phi if either A or B or both are null sets. If one of the board sets are empty, then we can simply say that this Cartesian product, that is A cross B equals to B cross A minus Cartesian product commutus. Commutus means this A cross B equals to B cross A. Also in this example, in example first which we consider A equals to 1 to in which we consider A equals to 1 to B equals to AB, N of A equals to 2, N of B equals to 2. Here N of number of elements, minus number of elements in N of a cross b that is n of a cross b equals to 4 n of b cross a equals to 4 which implies that the number of elements in this cartesian product that is a cross b is always equals to the product of the number of elements in the individual sets that is n of a cross b or n of b cross a equals to n of a into n of b or n of b into n of a now let me consider an example if we have two ordered pairs x plus 1 y plus 2 now this ordered pair equals to is given that this ordered pair is equal to 2 3 we have to find the value of x and y now when we know that two ordered pairs are equal if and only if their first components are same and second components are same here first components of these two ordered pairs is x plus 1 and 2 this means that it is given that x plus 1 is 2 y plus 2 is 3 which implies that from this x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 now <coughs> some important remarks from for this cartesian product is if the uh, number of elements in a or in set b is infinite this means that it is infinite set then clearly the number of elements in cartesian product is always infinite because infinity into some finite number is always infinity if a equals to or this means that first set is set of real numbers and we will consider second set to be real numbers then a cross b is simply r cross r this is nothing but it is a two dimensional plane which is simply called as the cartesian plane and in cartesian plane we have two axes one is called x axis second one is the y axis here this x axis is one set of real number a number because you know that the set of real numbers are represented by a straight line and this y also represents a real line so this means that this is simply r cross r minus two dimensional plane or simply the cartesian plane if we have three sets set a set b set c then their product is simply the set of all ordered triplets that is set of all ordered triplets minus a cross b cross c equals to a b c where here we have set first set is here a this means that first entry should 
should be from this set A that is A belongs to A. Second should be from B that is B belongs to B and third should be from C that is C belongs to C. This means that this Cartesian product of three sets is nothing but it is actually the set of all ordered triplets. Now if like if we consider A to be or B to be or C to be or then the Cartesian product of these three sets is simply or cross or cross or. This is called as the space or simply the three dimensional space three dimensional space and you know that three dimensional space in a plan is represented by the three axes that is x axes y axes and z axes these three axes are mutually perpendicular to each other <coughs> and if we have another remark is if we have a equals to b then clearly in this case a cross b equals to b cross a is always true so this means that uh, if uh, both sets are equal then clearly their Cartesian product is always same so this was uh, this was all about uh, this Cartesian product inshallah in tomorrow's video lecture we will discuss you know the exercise corresponding exercise to this topic that is how to find how to solve the questions on Cartesian product of two sets so thank you